I still have move ammo. Looks good! Looks good. I have no ammo for the AC, lol. Bye! Dyson worked for hours on that model! This is gone! How could you do this? Try to hold the pieces from it. Blowing the fuck up. There's the little pieces! There's the little pieces Dyson made! Dyson made those pieces! They're all gone. Actually looks great. There's so many like good destructible parts that fly off it when it blows apart. It actually looks fantastic. Seeing that like big Wright Brothers ass biplane tail flying off is terrific. That's great. I want to blow more of these things up. That's the plan, isn't it? Okay, so that's working. Cool. Um, I'm going to add the IDs now, I think, because it's annoying me that I haven't added them. And it'll, even though it's like, it'll, if I commit it like this and leave it like this before Milo wakes up, it will give him like a fucking ulcer in his brain because it will annoy him even more. If it annoys me, it's gonna ignore him twice, uh, annoy him twice as much. So it's time to add an ID for these things, even if it's placeholder. It's just good practice. So let me commit this and then add IDs. Do, 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 do. Good job, me. I added all this bullshit. I'm not lazy. I'm doing it. Orcas added to Xenos spawns. Just like previous commits, Orcas can now spawn as a variation of Xenos VHS spawns in encounters. Exclamation mark, because I'm excited about it. Committed. Boom. That's what's up. Oh wow, SWF! Holy shit, that's cool. SWF is like working on getting the XCOM map game assets or game assets all openable in an editor. I guess it's because he's doing Long War Community Edition. Damn, can you imagine if you could make custom maps for XCOM? Like XCOM 1? Just make like one, make like one weird challenge gimmick where it's like every map. <laughs> it's like they're all connected. It's from Long War 3. That's basically what uh, Swift is doing, yeah. Kaizo XCOM. <laughs> okay, what was I doing? IDs. I've committed that IDs. So I need to go to here. We need to open up the ID machine. One second, please. Main screen freelancer turn on. So here's the orc. We need to add these for the rest. Four, five. That should be Manta and Angler. I need to check that these aren't being used already. Just like do it, do a control F for it. Just to make sure. Because when IDs conflict, it's a bad time. Ben says, yeah, do do the dark type map thing where multiple maps actually just play on different parts of the same huge map. Yeah! Yeah, exactly. Okay, so now we come down to here. And I'll spare you guys my awesome riding and probably just leave this. Whoa. Leave actually giving these actual content until after. Placeholder. Placeholder. Manta. Angler. Junker. Oh, I'm gonna fight him. I'm gonna make it Junkers again. I'm gonna, fi I'm gonna fight Mile. I'm gonna make it Junkers again. For consistency. Okay. Manta. Light fighter. Junkers heavy fighter. Just to be extra. Careful, double check that these are not used again anywhere else. They are not. Terrific. Just gonna make sure this all adds properly and we're good. Right? Should be, I mean, run it again and see if it works. Should just kind of work, I think, but might have to add manually. We'll see. Hopefully it just works. Because it's fucking annoying when you're like, what is that on my contacts list? And the game is like, I don't know, Beagle didn't tell me. And then you fucking beat my ass. And I deserve it. Ah. 
What do I do after this if I got time? Um, we balance L and PPCs and add Lidlau and Tikas to advanced solars. Which one do I want to do more? Maybe a laser and... Mm. I, don't really want, I don't really want to do combat testing until the shield thing is fixed with these now buggy behaviors I just introduced with the ships. So... One thing I do want to do before I forget, I want to make sure that I took the lasers off all of the um, veteran ship loadouts and shit, because that was annoying. I'll do that next. Hey, what the fuck? What? New due donation from <laughs> random ant in your shower with a toad. <laughs> it won't be long before people use the 20s, the 30s, and the 40s to describe the 202, 0s, the 2030s, and the 2040s. <laughs> Fuck, I love the way a time man says that. Great idea, random ant your share of a thought. Great point. And, and well made. Hey, just like that it works. Hey, hey! Thank you for your two dollar donation, ain't random ant in my shower. Angler! I should have done this to start with. It's just good practice. Make sure you're doing the right thing, yeah? Yep. Oh, it looks so fucking cool to look at, too. I love looking at it. Blow up, blow up. I want to see it explode. Blow the fuck up. I want to see your pieces go all over the place. I'm not a psychopath. Hey! Hey! <laughs> M-lasered. It just looks good when the pieces go all over the place. I like it. Lloyd says it won't be long before I squish this fucking ant. You're funny, Lloyd. <laughs> oh, they look really cool to fight because they've got like that tail. I'm a plane guy, I like it. Oh, you can actually see me hitting their shield like way behind them. Because of the bug. That's funny. We have got to fix that. Oh, they look so cool! I really like them. them. Oh, fuck you. Wait, what the f Bro. No, they're cruising! I didn't realize they're getting away! No! Alright, that's working is the point. Cool. Kill, kill. I'm feeling like I'm 30, Pange. Bro, I'm 33. I'm 34 this year. Don't even start with me. Oh my god, four anglers. Yeah, this is the, this is the future of things. Beagle, get used to it. Turn 30 last month. Congratulations, Sitchin. You'll be old like Beagle. Yes, you are. Okay. Shit's working! You love to see it. You love to see shit working. That's what we're here for. We're here for shit working. Terrific. Okay. Commit that. Before Milo wakes up and is like, why don't these have IDs? And I'm like, ah! Let's go ahead and commit that. Name IDs and plate placeholder. Oh, no, just IDs for new Dyson. IDs for Manta and Angler. Names plus placeholder descriptions. Oh, fuck, I didn't mention. Ah, it's too late that I changed Junkers back. That's gonna be annoying for him, damn it. He's, he's gonna be like, oh man, he put the S back on. <laughs> Fucker put the S back on Junkers, I didn't even note it. Okay, so that's kind of done. Cool. Um, lasers. Lasers off. That's my next thing. Lasers off. So for that, that's easy. Go back to Lotus NPC, and I'm going to just, like, name search M Laser, and, well, just laser in general, I guess. Just Laz, and remove them. I'm going to remove Laz. Uh, let's Probably take it off the fucking Navy too while I'm here. I'll do that later. No, you won't. Uh -huh. Fucking. 
I'll handle the navy later. I will. I will handle the navy later. Xenos for now. Just Xenos for now. So elites can keep their lasers. That's fine. Elites can be scary with their like annoying ass lasers that always hits you. I think that's fine. Honestly, sometimes the lasers are, aren't even better, but we'll make them so they are better. That's part of the rebalance. Um, but any like so here, here's what I want to fix. Anyone with pilot, I don't want them to have a laser because it's annoying. It's annoying as fuck. So that's gonna change, buddy, to one of these ones. Didn't I say I wanted to change their shit? Mm, do that later. Do that as a pass. In fact, even veterans, I think I want to take the lasers off. It's it's like a... Well, on the VHF, I think it's fine. That's fine on the VHF. I don't mind that. I will allow that. I guess that was it. I guess it was just that one... That one loadout had a laser in it. I guess I did already get them then. I'm not seeing any others. That's good. Wait, CVFCX. Yeah, Elite. That's fine. Ace, yeah. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, Beagle, what's up, Yuker? What's up, my man? My manimal, what's going on? Let's change your PPC, too. Hang on, take me back to that VHF Eagle. I'm gonna change it to a PPC while I'm here. Bomber, I want to give you a PPC like I did for the other one. Because that's fun. Ta-da! Done. Commit this. Beagle. Haven got married today? Oh, that's nice. Congratulations! Who's the lucky boy or girl are they? Are they a voice actor too? Wait, let me commit this. Removed. More late. Yes, they are. Lol. Well, of course they are. You meet people in your industry, right? Makes sense. Do I know them from anything? Are they in Project Wingman? <laughs> the only media I care about? Um, laser. Uh, I'm just gonna call this loadout. Xenos. Her handle is Sprixer. Have not heard of her, no. What does she do? Xenos loadout. Tweaks. Um, description. Removed. One. Laz L. Wait, that was from a VHF. Fuck, did I even want to do that? I guess I already did it. I just already did it. And I kind of just fucked things up. Mostly VR chat roleplay stuff in VR tuber. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I want to fix that now, actually. I fucked that. Yeah, fair enough. Sounds good. Good for them. That's what I like to say. Good for them. Sounds good. Oh, do you have the pilot? No, that was correct. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Removed one L laser from... Xenos Eagle loadout. Or replaced. Replace one laser loadout. Switched. One L laser on... Whip Xenos Bomber loadout for PPC. Commit. Just occasionally voice act? Well, there you go. That counts. Nuker, what are you doing in the voice acting world lately? What's your gig that you're working on right now? What are you working on? Can you reveal it to us? Like a Hollywood insider thing? Okay, that's done. What's my next task here? I'm gonna write another note for fix the bullshit Navy letters, because the Navy letters are so overpowered. Uh, rebalance. Oh, we were saying this, uh, Euchre. Uh, Euchre, this is about you. Speaking of voice acting, we need a Euchre voice back in the mod now because apparently I turned on my fucking mod and without my knowledge, apparently they've added some fucking things to the game now where there's like a co-pilot who's like, yeah, got one. And like, you fucking hole buckling and shit when stuff is happening to you in, in Freelancer. I'm like, what the fuck? You can't do this. This isn't technically possible. Apparently it is. So we need a, we need a Euchre voice back now, I'll call you. I gotta, I gotta commission you for a, a Euchre co-pilot, Euchre AWOX. See, it's not even co-pilot, right? Like, I actually always wanted to do an AWOX, but I didn't think we could do it. Like an AWOX going like, oh, you know, missile trashed. Oh, you, you've got a hole in your right wing. I think we can actually do it now if that shit does what I think it does. Fucking awesome. So we're gonna do um, AWOX Galaxy in B-Mod now. Space AWOX Galaxy. Like fucking a thousand years later. 
And were you telling me about wanting to do that? Yeah, I did, but I didn't think it was technically possible. But then today, it's like, what the fuck is this possible, apparently? Because someone's added it to the mod. And I had no idea until I downloaded it today. So, hey, apparently it's a thing now. Apparently it's a thing. So maybe I'll actually call you about it. <laughs> okay. Now I have... Ludla, Tikus, Advanced Cellars, and Rebalance, L Lasers, PPC Lasers in general. Okay, let me also look at my guns. I want to check something. Show me how many NPC versions there are of things. D -d 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 so many. Not the blasters. Go down to the auxiliaries. NPC plus version. Okay, there are NPC plus versions. I need to fix the loadouts then. Because I didn't think these existed, but I guess they do. I use NPC ammo. Okay, I gotta fix all that then. Okay, shit. I, apparently I can do this. Wait, why does it say poor quality? That's not right. <laughs> Weird. Anyway. I gotta throw these on now. Alright, that's, that's my next task. We'll do that. Go back to the loadouts. Go to the top of JU. And then just add that for whatever the fuck. Yeah, check if that's for LAS. Is the, do I have this for LAS guns? No, I don't. Never mind. So maybe don't change this because it's I was right. That's not right. S laser, S laser. There are no NPC versions of lasers. Does that make sense? You wouldn't need them. Actually. So you can just give them like plus versions of those. Oh, there are there are NPC versions. Fuck. That's right, because auto turret, that's why I needed these. Okay, but there's NPC versions of every aux. So I will add these. I have to add NPC before after the B mod. Let's add all these now. That's good. There's a special thing that makes the AI accurate of them that we need to do. How do I quickly find this shit? BM. Fucking every gun's gotta be NPC or they won't aim right. It's annoying. Just like, let's just like name search NPC. Do, 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 do. Make sure that they're just running that for everything, because they should be. Five, six, three. So that needs to be an NPC or they will not aim right. That's why they couldn't hit me with them before, by the way. Just to remember that. Add that. Onwards. Do do NPC. Give the AI their bullshit twin light auto cannons. They're gonna fucking make cats rage. That's what we like. Onto the heavy fighters. Just try not to miss anything. Here we go. These already have NPC. Great. Weapon 4. Where's weapon 4? SRM. Okay, fine. Oh, these are, these are CVs. These aren't my junkers. These are the old ones. Still good to check them, though. But they should be fine. Now, now we get to the junkers ones again. Okay, NPC, NPC. NPC, NPC. Yeet. Ye. Here where here's what a problem could be. Yeah, okay, see, gotta add NPC. NPC. And again, give them their NPC versions as they are meant to have. I think with these guys, you're okay. Just make sure, yep, we've got the NPC version of the laser. But the elites can have XP ones. I gotta check that they have that. 
Why do you just have like one XP one? That's weird. You don't meant to have that. That's just a mistake. And then you see you should have an XP one right there. For better. This should also be XP one. Let me check the elite heavy fighter after this again. I might have fucked it up. SRM, yeah, we'll fucking fix that later. That requires a new weapon. Okay, XP1 for you. Not This is the A, so I didn't need to fuck with it too much, but whatever. May as well. Now onto the JUs, which are the ones I actually want to change. XPQ means poor quality, makes their shit a bit worse. That means there should be a poor quality of this, right? Doesn't really matter for you because you don't even have ammo, so don't worry about that. Yep, cool, cool, cool. <coughs> Here we go. Yep, that's the right version. I was smart when I did this one, I guess. Just checking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And Elite, here's where we just had those XP1, so make sure they've got the plus versions. So that you can loot these things too. Dual plus Shredder Auto Cannons. Probably a pretty fun thing to loot. Okay, dope. Um, just let me check the... Let me check the JUHF again. JUHF Elite. Do you have XP1s everywhere you're meant to? Yes, you have XP1. 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 Okay, cool, 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 cool. I think that's done. Just uh, turn my server on and make sure like shit doesn't immediately explode. But as long as it doesn't immediately explode, um, we're good there. Got to rebuild it. Just test, it's good to like test on multiplayer every so often, even though I'm not like doing multiplayer testing right now. Just like at least every few commits be like, hey, does the game just completely crash now? Did I break something horribly? Because you don't really want to commit a build that's just going to like absolutely fail to start and everyone's like, what the fuck happened? And then they find out it's your fault after like an hour of like investigation. This has never happened to me, of course. It's just like a hypothetical. That's never been a thing I've caused multiple times. I've never done that before to the team. So it's good, you know, I, I try to test things. I try to test things, I'm a great guy who never makes mistakes, so... <laughs> you know what, I, I do my best, guys. Put my pants on three legs at a time like anybody else. I, I do my best. So yeah, let's load up the MP server and make sure everything works. I'll probably do some quick testing in SP again to make sure the equipment works as well. And then I guess after that, my next task is... Don't want to do the L laser PPC rebalance right now. So I guess it's I could try to make Lidlau and Tikus work in advanced solars. That sounds fun. Yeah, that's what we'll do. You could you hear the Beagle's getting married soon? That's true, I am. That's a actually a completely true thing. Very soon. MP test. Should be showing up on the screen in a second, there we go. Take Falcon Beags out. Can't believe Beagle didn't even invite me to the wedding. If you can make it to Australia, Jeff, I'd let you come. Maybe. It's kind of like a private ceremony, but I mean, who are you if not a friend and family at this point, Jeff? If you made, if you made the trek. It's not an open invitation though, like, if you're an Australian viewer right now, like, not everyone is invited, it's not a streamer wedding. But Jeff is special, Jeff is not just a viewer. Jeff is in the friend, friends and family, like, genre at this point. But, you know, Iglog, Iglog can't fucking come. That should be obvious. <laughs> I think of Iglog, I just think about playing Subcom again, I gotta play Subcom. I gotta play 0k, actually, everyone. That's what I should do. By the way, server didn't blow up. 
Shit seems to be working okay. Let's fly along and see if we can get like an angler spawn. Check their loadouts real quick on SP, and then I'll try to do Ludlow and Tikas. And you know what? That'll be a pretty fucking good, satisfying day's work for me if that all works. I got the ships in. I hard pointed them. Pending those bugs being fixed, they're like ready to go. They're even in as NPCs. I know I'm amazing. Even neatened up some of the old loadouts a little bit. There's an angler! Just a good old angler there, folks. You love to see that. That's exactly what you want to see. Terrific. Just just flying along. Just having a good time. That's what we like. That's what we want to see. What's success? Yeah, the, these lights like this is what I gotta to add to the, the ships now, the anglers and stuff. That's when I'll uncommon all their lights, but yeah, you gotta add all this shit in. Double angler spawn. This will fucking bug because they're bug shields if you're just joining us, but still, let's try and kill them. Oh, my shit's not working. Ah! Fuck, don't shoot me! Shit! Not fair, I'm not ready. Flystyle is actually cheaper than I thought. Yeah, man, come on over. Seriously, like, if, if someone like you came over, Sammy, like, you came over, or Jeff came over, or you came over, like, people I'm, like, friends with, hell yeah, we'd, like, take you out places. That'd be fucking awesome. Jeff, we should go. Can you guys, like, like, just buy one seat on a trip? Like, is it cheaper if you just, like, buy one seat and you all share it? Oh, that shield bubble is so ridiculously huge by accident. Oh, they're fucking me up, though, goddamn. Holy shit! Ah! Get the fuck away from them. Put Sammy in the luggage. <laughs> Jeff can sit in my lap. There was like, there was two different ways to look at that there. Let's use the rock to avoid their gunfire. I am so clever. Ah! They caught me in there fucked up. Shield bubble! It's like Chaos Mod again with the um, personal space effect. Shooting these down feels good. I want that MIG, damn it. I'm gonna ask Dyson secretly when Milo's not paying attention. I mean, like, Dyson, can I just have, like, you know, like a shield bubble for the MIG so I can just slip it into the mod secretly? I won't even put it in, like, the player facing part of the mod. I'll, uh, I'll just put it in, like, the dev system so only I can have it for my MP testing. It's gonna make me so fucking happy. I love Jets so fucking much. That's not hitting. Do I need more lead or do I have too much lead? That's really handy, you can actually use that to see how fucked the shield is like that. Handy debug tool, the light elder cannon. Oh, it's doing some good damage, bye bye. And once again, we love when the bits blow up, don't we? Oh, they're gone, shit. Timmy says, you should make a repulsor ability, like triples the size of your shield hitbox for a split second to get people off your ass. Yeah, we have mines for that, but yeah, let's repair mine, fuck. It's a good idea. You, you, you know, we could actually make sem uh, Semi, like, a mine that does very little damage, but it just has, like, an insane amount of, like, push, like a gravity gun, and you drop it behind you, it's, like, really easy to hit with, and just, like, gets them off your butt without doing damage. Ruby says, ah, shit, uh, Ballistics and Freelancer, yep. So we do here in BMOM, we love ourselves some Ballistics. The B stands for Ballistics. It doesn't. The B in BMOM does not stand for Ballistics. But we do fucking love us some Ballistics in this game. We do, we do. That's working nicely. I'm very pleased with my work. Yeah, the M stands for mom, sorry. It's B mom. According to Obsidian. Why are we playing Star Citizen? Because this is a much better version of Star Citizen. Cheaper as well. Yeah! Yeah, way cheaper. Ah, oh, it makes me happy to see like the fruits of my labor, to just see them spawning naturally. Nothing seems to be crashing. Apart from the shield behavior which we know about, like everything's good. This is terrific. I'm pleased. Okay, enough being pleased. Enough of that. Now what? More work. I was gonna quickly check the loadouts, hang on. I would like to check the loadouts a little bit more just to make sure that they have the, the plus ones on the elites. That's all I really changed. Then I will try to squeeze in fixing Tikas and Ludlow at the end here. But I've only got like another 
40 minutes left of me now. Then I'll be done. Maybe you've enjoyed your day of being with me. Oh god, fuck. Yeah, give me some elites and let me see what they look like. Yep, heavy AC ballistic, it's got heavy AC. That's the wrong ammo. Whoop whoop. See, that's why you test things. That is the wrong fucking ammo. Whoop whoop. That is not the right ammo. That is an XP1, but it's not XP1 ammo. Unless they just have the wrong IDs. Let's check that. Yeah, close the game. Wait, no, keep, keep the game open, hang on. But let's test that. That is the HF Elite, we're already looking at them. See, they've got the ammo, but does the ammo actually exist? That's the question. Let's copy this and go to the guns file. NPC Orcs, ACH, on XP1 ammo. It may just not have the right ID. How much damage is it meant to do? 3566. Six. Wait, what? Shouldn't it do more? Isn't that standard? Oh, I just need to actually make it do more damage, I guess. Weird. I guess it just is an NPC version, but by default does not have anything better about it. That's okay, I just need to fix that. Which means right now these things won't even drop. Yeah, I gotta fix that too. Got to fix that as well. Show me the... Where is it? Heavy AC... Plus. Ah, yeah, okay. So I just gotta change the damage. The damage just isn't actually updated. I guess I'll do that now, rather than being a lazy baby. Lux variant rules is plus 15% damage, which means... If I just look at heavy AC plus... Non-NPC version. Wait, it doesn't exist. Uh-oh. Huh? ACH, 1X, XP1. Where is it? There it is. It's just got different notation. The damage, my friends, for the ammo here is this much. So, just take that back to the other one. Meow, hello, baby boy. Where is the NPC version? There it is. So, oh, wait, wait, I, I don't do it there, I do it on the spreadsheet. Almost made a big mistakey. So it's 4100. Beep. And energy damage is 820. Just a bit more damage there, okay. I'll probably have to do that for all of them, I guess. Fuck, I'm gonna do that for all of them. I don't want to, but I have to. So I have to do this chore. ACX. So that is the NPC version. Show me the non-NPC version. Yep. 92701853. 92701853. What was the other one? 1853. Terrific. And I guess I better do it for the medium and the light as well. Meh! Meh! Okay. ACL. It is 970 and 96. 796. And finally for the medium AC, and I'm guess I'm gonna do that for the L lasers. Well, I'm gonna do this for the lasers. Yeah, I'll do this for the lasers too. So for M lasers, yep, yep, yep. Okay. So yeah. Medium AC, sorry, what was that? AC M. It's 1796358. 1796358. Done. Now you must show me 
M laser and L laser. And I guess S laser while I'm here because I'm being good and I'm getting it all. Laz S, right? Yeah, Ox Laz S. 1150, 1437. 1150. What was the other one? 1437. M laser plus. Is 1725, 2156. 1725, 2156. 1725, 2156. These are the kinds of things that these are kinds of things that try to be like really good about not making a typo one or getting like the wrong effect for. Because this is the kind of shit where like if you get this number wrong. It'll just be this thing where, like, you won't realize, and then for, like, the next five years of your life, the NPCs have, like, too much damage and you don't- and you don't realize it, and you're like, why does the last just not quite feel right? And then, like, five years later, you're like, fuck, I made, I gave them, like, too much damage. I gave them, like, a hundred too much damage. Like, enough to be annoying, but not enough to ever, like, significantly notice it up to this point. Been there so tricky? Yeah, so I- I try to, like, always be like, make sure it's right, because I'm never gonna be back here to know, like, it's not gonna crash, I'm just not gonna know that- the balance is off. 2840. It's like my nightmare. 2840 up from 2470. That's a nice big fucking pump. And 3551. 3551. That's a that's a big amount of damage. 3551. That's that's a lot of fucking damage. That's a big L laser. Oh, that's a big one. Um fuck, I guess I'll do the good PPC as well. Go on. Do the PPC while you're here as well. Do them all. Eat your greens. Do your chores. PPC. Where is PPC? PPC 1. Oh, it's PPC 1. Okay. PPC 1. 1x. XP 1. 5668 six, on both. Big gun. Big gun. 5668. Six, big, big gun. Need to buff these things more, so I'll probably be back. I'll probably be back to do all these again uh, soon because I'm gonna. Well, I'm probably gonna buff their energy actually, so probably not the damage. Anyway, big fucking damage in that thing. That thing. I think actually one shots. I think a PPC plus one shots a heavy fighter shield now. Sexy thing to get. Okay. Other than that, I think the rest we can leave for right this minute. That's everything. Ah, uh, just do the machine gun because if I do the machine gun, I've actually done everything. So don't, don't leave the machine gun out as the ugly duckling. Do the MG. Which should be like, what? MG? Yeah, I love that our naming scheme like makes sense. That's terrific. It's so great when that just is the case. 104 and 75. 104, 75. Great! I'm a good boy. I ate my greens. I think I did it. All that to say... Now let's rebuild that and see if the shit actually looks right in the game. So I gotta commit that. Well, hold up. First of all... What did I tweak? Added NPC tag to loadouts as proper. Ficked some weapons not having... Not being the NPC versions on... NPC loadouts. Commits. Close this. We'll be back in a second. See, it's good. I didn't need to test this, but I tested for it, and in so testing, I discovered something different was wrong that I wasn't aware of, and that I should fix that. <laughs> so, it wasn't the thing I went in there testing for, but this is why it's good to always load the game up and be like, hey, does everything look right? Rather than never testing, and then again, just like six months from now, your game is just like a riddled mess with like all these tiny little incongruities and, and inconsistencies and unintended things have built up, all these little mistakes you didn't realize, and you're just like, damn, this fucking shit feels like bad shit. What the fuck's going on? Nothing works. <laughs> so I try to be. I try to be. The fucking word circumspect? I don't know. I try to make shit not broken. Okay, that's done. Let's load up again, because we should be good now. Do 
So now to test this, just hop in, do what we are doing before, just like jump in, look for elites, and just see if their damage looks right. Yuka says you can break more shit. Yeah, good idea, Yuka. I should break more shit. There's a button. It's that. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. I had an elite there to test. Janet Ullman. What's uh, Ullman review? 970. I think that was the upgraded value, right? I can check. 970. Yes, 970. It's like 1200 more damage. It's kind of fucking cracked, actually. Make sure that the ammo is right, though. Yeah, okay, the ammo is right, doesn't have the right ID. So that's working, actually, which is really great to see. Do any more elites to test? Or can I load another set? Show me the elites. I love that one of their names is Batters. Veteran the Lawn, Veteran Baird. Yvette Batters, what a great name. Oh yeah, I'm Batters. I'm real batters. 970. Yeah, this is working. Terrific. And now you can see the little fucker is a lot more accurate with those light order cannons. Now you can see that is going to be a problem when my shield goes down. Oh, the bitch is right on me too because they're a fucking light. I'm going to die here, but I want to see what, how much damage it does. Yeah, that's fucking nasty. Like, obviously the missile there is its own thing, but... You see how my shield went down and like suddenly like, just big chunks of fucking holo coming off in the light auto cannons. That's nasty. I'm gonna add more like sound effects so you know you're being hit by or being shot up by an auto cannon. We need like bullet cracks and shit. You want it to be obnoxious, but you know something like that. Right now you get hit by auto cannons and you don't really realize. You're like, why is my health disappearing? You should definitely know. Like you should definitely get hit by an auto cannon. It should be like fucking bam. Holy oh, fuck. All right, so I can commit that. That's working. I have a great job, me. I'm the best. Updated um, NPC plus orcs weapons to have more damage. Um, damage. Made NPC plus orcs gear have increased damage to mirror player versions. Commit. BFR level screen shake, that's right. Wait, BFR? Okay, committed. Um, let's quickly in my last 20 or 30 minutes here see if I can figure out how to make Tikus work the way I want it to. And I'll write like a message for Myla being like, good morning sunshine, and being like, here's what I changed, I need you to fix this thing. So what do I do? I need to pull up the shit. I'm so good at talking. I need to pull up the shit that has Tikas in it. I need to switch it over to the new advanced solars, I think. And we'll see. So first of all, let's pull up where Tikas currently is called from. Solar... Oh, it would be an LiO3, wouldn't it? It would be an LiO3, that's where. So you need to go to LiO3. I need to find... Uh, Miner? BM Road Miner, BM Road Miner 2. Miner Charlie, here we go. Miner Zen Frigate. So I, I guess I just have to figure out how to like make this work in our config. <laughs> Hello, Debug Kitten, shit's fucked. <laughs> Something actually I really had to do is to not put all the mental load of that on Milo. It definitely started out that way, because I just was not a responsible developer either. I try to be better about it now, because I view it the same way as like. Everyone should understand this example. It's the mental load thing of standard patriarchy shit of like the boyfriend does is just a slug who does nothing and makes the girlfriend like fucking he's using heteros as an example in Pride Month. I'm sorry, yes, it's my first crime of the month. But, you know, the girlfriend has to like, you know, do all the lists, schedule everything, handle all the fucking shit, you know, manage all the mental load of all the chores, keeping all the problems in her head and managing them. Um and you know, the boyfriend doesn't do any of that shit. It's just like that's that's cool, honey, you do it. Um, I try not to be that boyfriend to Milo in a development sense. Um, like, he's very circumspect and sensible and responsible about, you know, stuff like scope creep, 
um, proper, like, responsible, like, he's very good about it, the development, you know, procedures and stuff. Um, and I've, I've, I've been trying to make an effort to be better about that to a degree that, like, I'm matching him on that as much as possible. I don't, because he's much better about me than it's still. But I try because I do not want to be that shitty boyfriend to my co-git developer, if you know what I mean. So it's it's something I something I try to get better at all the time. Uh, it's definitely a work in progress for me, though. I'm definitely not nearly as good at it as he is. But I try. I do try to be mindful of that and not leave him to be the only one who has to be like, Oh god, like, you know, can we do this responsibly? Because that's just mental load that no one should be completely burdened with. What was I doing next? Oh yeah, I gotta go to advanced solos next, speaking of. So now we go to... Config? Hang on. Yes, I'm gonna go to my configs. Excuse me, I'm not gonna show you this for a second. I just wanna make sure there's like nothing um, private in it because it's like a server config. Solar families, okay. I don't know how to use this, I'm suddenly realizing. <laughs> um, hang on. This isn't private, but I don't know how to use it. Hang on, I need to open another thing. Um... Solar... Where would this go? I need to add Milo, uh, uh, ask Milo how this works, I think. Solar Arch Formations. There's no example config in here, and so I am obliterated. Because that's the only way I work, is having an, an example config. <laughs> Without an example config, I, I just don't know. I, I don't know how to do anything. That's how I learn things in this modding scene. Um, frick. I want to I wanna just try this right now and figure it out. I'm a big boy. I can figure this out. Maybe I go like... We're just going to try it like this. Hang on. Okay, so I don't know shit about JSON. But... Oh god, how the fuck do I do this? Wait. Let's just- let's just give this one go, and if it doesn't work, fuck it, okay? Let's just give it one- one go. And if I can make it work, fuck yeah. But, uh, there's no, like, example config here, so... Anybody's fucking guess. Wait. No, I don't know how to do this, because I'm in positions- Okay, I just gotta wait for this. I can't do this right now. Because I- I don't even know what I would use to call position. I gotta ask him for an example config. Or, can I just go look at FL hook? Hang on. There may be a config example for this already if I go to the FL hook repo. Because I think this is probably part of FL hook. Yeah, Google suggestions. FL hook 4.0 repo, thank you. Let me see if advanced solos is in here. I had like a thing for this before that had. There was like a thing for this before that had like configs and shit. Fuck, where is that? Where do I find the documents? Do, 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 do. FL hook documentation. Okay. Plugins. Here we go. Advanced setup solos. Here we go. Ah! I'm smart. Instead of going, oh, my life fix it. I'm going to actually figure out how to do this myself. Which is like that mental load thing I was just talking about before. Why don't I try Googling it my fucking self? How about that? Here we go. There's cool plugins here in FL Hook 4. I want to throw some more of these on at some point. Like, already made. Like, Arena. Um, there's a really cool one they've made where, like, I like this idea a lot. You can basically ha have certain people with certain equipment, like, be able to watch the trade lanes and gates. So I guess if anyone uses a trade lane in, you know, your system and you've got the, the sensors, you can, like, get a, get, like, a little report to go, like, you know, player has entered the trade lane, like, here's their cargo. Which is pretty fucking awesome for either pirates or, um, police. To be like, oh, someone's smuggling some bullshit, right? Like some some other fucking Xenos pirate. I know that name. Or like someone's got some fucking car to mine and they just went through that trade lane, you know, from here to there. I'm gonna go fucking put the sirens on. Pretty fucking cool. I like that. That's very cool. There's a light control plugin, so you guys can choose what color you want your lights. That's also pretty cool. What else is there? Sorry, just getting slightly distracted by this. There's like mining bonuses. Cool. We want to do our own thing for that, but that's cool. Plays a random sound upon player login. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 
Yeah, you can you can look up not even only their cargo but their equipment when they're it, with the, the uh, trade lane and jump gate sensor thing. That's so cool. And it's narrative because that's what a Jira is able to do in the game's lore. They can. That's actually a big thing about the trade lanes and gates is a Jira sees everything you're doing and the in-game corporations like Interspace Commerce got access to that and use that leashing it from a Jira to um, basically. Uh, just uh, judge their insurance premiums they put on your cargo and shit like that without you being able to scam them. It's very cool. Very, very cool. I like that. But for right now, what we want, let's not get distracted, is advanced startup solars. Yes, this was done in April 2024. That sounds about right. Done by my good friend, Irate Red Kite Milo. And here is an example config. Perfect. We are in the money. I can do this. So we're just going to take the example config and then fill the bits in. Because that is going to be all I'm capable of. So now, now I've got a chance. Here we go. Hey Milo, you're here. What's up, Milo? Um, do you want to progress report what I did today, or do you want me to discord it to you? How you doing? I probably got like 20 more minutes, Milo, but I'm here. I've done a, done a fair bit of shit today. I was just gonna try to get Tikas and um, Lidlau spawning in advanced solos before I end. All of the rest of the day has been doing um, the new Dyson ships in as player ships and NPC ships. I'm going to continue to commit log. Yeah, the, the big thing I want to let you know is um, the, 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 the shield hitbox thing is like super glaring. Um, the shield is not only too big, it's also in the wrong place and it's causing huge hitbox problems, crazy yeet physics. Um, and when you try to fight within combat, it's like the, their shield is like just, it is like 10 times too large it feels like, or it's just like fucking 10 times out of away from the ship. So that does need to be... Um, Address. I feel like we fixed it for the Orca, but then it got unfixed after all Fridge Friders. Yeah, I tested that before. I think the Orca was doing weird shit again. Like it was yeeting again. Um, but definitely for the LF and the HF, 100%. Super fucked. Like if you if you fight them, it's just massively fucked. If you try to do the the hitbox testing on the shipyard outside of Denver, massively fucked. So it's, it just needs fixing again. I don't know what you did to fix it last time, but I think all three of them need a pass just to make sure. But other than that, um, as soon as you do that... We're pretty in the money because I've not only added them, they're, they're not on Denver anymore, they're on Uray now if you want to get them. But they're all on Uray. The Angler is in. Um, and we're, we're, the Angler has wingtip small missiles, but we're working on that. Dyson's working on the missiles to make them pretty. Um, and I've also added them as NPC ships, so it's like 50-50. They're a variation that can just spawn right now with the uh, Xenos uh, normal Falcon line. So they're in. They're, they're in all across Colorado, which is pretty fucking cool. Um, you can't really fucking fight them properly yet because they're so fucking broken but, <laughs> with the shields. But as soon as the shields are fixed, they're in the money. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, no. And uh, I've been trying to be responsible so they're not like, crashing or nothing. Like, I think I didn't do any bad typos. I think everything's working well. I did a little bit of tweaking on some org damage numbers just then. But yeah, I, I've got like basically 17 minutes. I'm going to try to make this work using your example config. Hopefully I can do it. And I'm going to commit this and I'll probably be done for now. Oh, and the other thing about the ships is that they are still, like, their, their cockpit mats. I don't know how to get that to work, really. So they've still got problems with their cockpit mats, and I think maybe the... the I think I need to call utility ships for their, their, that one weird engine texture. But yeah, their, their cockpits are, like, see-through, and they don't have a floor and, and all that shit. Um, so that's that's still a thing. Uh, they, they, they don't have cockpits. Cockpit glass or, or, or floors or any walls. But that's it, really, just the shields and that. So they're, they're pretty close to being functional. <laughs> I don't want to say functional because they're very broken in combat right now, but they're they're almost there once we fix the shields thing. Um, okay, so let's do this because I don't have long. Um, I was going to go to here. I was going to copy this shit. Bum, 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 bum. No, I don't need to copy that because I've got this now. I've got this config. So I need uh, to grab it from here, right? So can I just like that's the name of it, which I'm going to call it Solar Family, Solar Formations, Spawn Chance Multiplication. Oh yeah, cool, we can have like, oh god, we have the little move around. I kind of like it guarding the jump hole, but that's kind of a cute idea. Have it like, like show up in different places. <laughs> this has to be LIO3. Oh yeah, like show up in different places? How cool would that be to have like a fucking, I mean, it can't be dockable yet, but that'd be amazing, but how cool would that be to have like a fucking, hey Mary, dockable, 
not dog world, sorry, sorry, I got distracted by my beautiful baby dog. Um, how cool would it just be have like a fucking like solar like that, like a like a notable like unique NPC kind of solar that like just shows up across like different systems, like not even like different places in one system, but like okay, today they're in Colorado, tomorrow they're in you know Manhattan. See, I, I jumped to dockable because the first thing I thought was like, oh, it's like a trader, it's like it's like a trader that like merchant travels around anyway. <laughs> You still could like go hunt them too. Be like, oh, like cool, like that. that the pirate frigate to hunt today is like in in California. Let's go there. Moving around between maps like the goons supposedly do. Yeah, Tarkov reference. There you go. Exactly. Anyway, I'm not getting this done. 15 minutes. Spawn chance for now 100. Spawn locations. We only need the one right now. So let's grab that. Should be like this, right? Should be able to just go X. Oh, it's a minus. Whoopsie. Sometimes when you double click, it doesn't grab everything like that, of course. Minus 169. Does it need decimals? Let's just add decimals because it looks like it wants them. JSON like decimal. And this. So that should be its current position. System LA 03, yes. We should be able to get rid of the. Should be able to just get rid of the extra location. Which is a fucking cool feature. I don't want to use it for these guys specifically. I want... I will use it for the... Um, I'm going to switch the DSE miners to this. And they will... I'll probably have them move around a bit. Um, which will be really fucking cool. Uh, around Silverton and stuff. And Copperton. That'll be neat. But we got that. Spawn chance 100. Spawn weight 1. Right. Because it's in the solar family. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I can remember my own terms here. So if you're for Formation is the thing. Family is... Yeah, okay, yeah. Iris right, so is pretty sure you can feed numbers about the decimals. The conversion you convert the format. I'm sorry. Yeah, I figured, but just to be safe. Spawn quarterly one. I can't remember what that means. I feel like I like spec that. Spawn quarterly one. I it won't use the same spot again, but I'm guessing if you have like more than one location or like more shit in the family, it can like probably rolls that many times. I can't remember. It's been like two months since I spec that. If I if that was even me, that this I this might be someone else. Um. We don't have any rotate. Uh, Milo, now that you're here, I'm just going to ask you straight. Can we do rotation in this? I want to decide which way it's looking. But I don't see that in the example config unless I'm blind. That's the case. Check the CPV file. Yeah. Let me check that too. I have that up. But I don't see... Not CPV. I just have to talk up. I think rotation is taken for the solar call. Wait, what? Wait, so do you still have to define it in the system? Like, I have it here. Like, like here it is right in LAO3, right? Do I need to keep this here? No solos or JSON? Right. Oh, shit. This is only one... This is only one part of it. Okay. Solar.json? You define it on solar. Is it solars or solar? I have solar.json. If it's Solars, then I think I'm missing it. Uh, an update. Solar, probably. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 just this one. This this does this look up to date to you? This is the one that was of hacking, so I'm not sure that it is. I might be out of date, but you, maybe you didn't change it. It should work. Okay, cool. Yep. Sorry, I'm not trying to like bombard you with too many like questions. I can probably figure out myself. Just wanted to be sure. Um, I don't see rotation though. Arch, pilot, loadout. Hang on a sec, that's all good. <laughs> I may just not be able to like, get this done in, in the 11 minutes I have left, that's okay. But I did want to get it done before I forget, because it's been on my mind. For NPCs, I'm assuming I can just put zero here and not spawn any. Well, Alright, let's name this. This is the solar family, so we're gonna name this. Okay, this is the solar itself. We got one. BM. Zen Ludlow Frigate. Spawns. We'll go BM 
Zen Ludlow Frigate. I won. We have Zen Ludlow Frigate Jump Hole, because it's the one at the jump hole. If I ever add more, I'll know this is the one at the jump hole. Wait. No, this has to call a thing from here. Precision isn't actually in there, but should be an easy addition. Okay, yeah, cool. Well, for now, I won't be too pedantic about it, and I'll just stick it in. That's my bad. No, easy thing to overlook. I'll just make sure it works first, yeah? So I'll go... And I'll just remember, I'll just comment this out so I remember that it's 170 rotation at the moment, so it faces towards you as you come in against it. Um, so let's just add in another one of these's. Uh, wait. Is that right? Yep, that looks right. This has to be what I'm calling it here. So, BM Zen Ludlow Frigate 01. I guess I, I'm i calling this. These are the formations, right? Is that right? Oh, was this... Am I, not, am I not spawning the solo currently? I'm only spawning NPCs. Hang on. Name that BM Zen Ludlow Frigate 01. Load out. This is where I gotta transfer this other stuff over. Solar Arch. Yep. That's formation. Hang on. Yeah, I just grabbed the example config from the website. Should we really write docs for this? <laughs> That's okay. I, I would just like. Ask you questions live in stream. This is how every, this is how every user will use it. It's okay. They'll just they'll just turn their stream on and be like, Milo, get in here. <laughs> I think I want this one, right? Solar Arch. No, I want um this BM Road Miner. I want a pilot for it. BM pilot remote platform. I haven't even given them their own one yet because I'm a fucking hack. Info card. ID's info. IFF. I assume that's FCX group. Base. What is that? Leave that blank, I guess? Because I don't know what that is. And we can't apply behavior or difficulty level. I'm seeing... I don't know if that shit even really matters, honestly. I don't even know what this does. For solars. I assume you left it out because it doesn't do anything. So this should be everything we, we like need, I guess. So I'm pretty sure you reference information on a solar. Okay. So we do have rotation? Wait, so what what file is that, sorry? Group solar control, let me see. Solar, maybe I should just let you do this. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not gonna put it on you, I can do this. <laughs> Party wants to be just like, I'll just let Milo do it. Milo understands it, and then I'll, do, I'll use the example configs. That, oh, I'm, I'm only smart enough to like work off example configs. I can't figure things out for myself. But no, I'm, I feel like I'm almost there. So to be solo JSON again, but with an extra section that isn't in yet. Okay. Um, can I add it in using the website you linked? The link. Solar Arch Formations. I remember when you used these for, um, for hacking. I remember this. Brackets, 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 brackets. Brackets, 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 brackets. I think I see how to do this, perhaps. Solar arch formations, and then solar arches is the thing underneath. Oh, yeah, yeah, here it is. Look, solar arch formations, boom. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Hang on. Get rid of that. Go back one for some reason. Nope, don't do it like that. Well, don't know if it really matters, like, how I indent it. But I'm gonna try. Is that right? Hey, is that right? It should be on top of solar arches below it. So I guess that's right. Um, okay. Wait, what is this now? W platform form. So that's the name of what I was trying to do down here, I think. 
Okay, wait a minute. So I... Yeah, there's the frigate itself. There, There's the frigate itself. I don't know what base is for. We're going to leave that. I don't see any of these using it. This is all in. So now if I take BM Zen Ludlow Frigate 01. And I add this. Here? No. No, 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 no. Here. Wait, yes. Because this isn't the solar arch from the game. It's the solar arch from here. Which is a little bit confusing, I guess. Because... Technically, we make solar arches in the game. Whatever. No, but this is doing the same. Th fuck it. Yeah, this works. Whatever. This works. So that's done. Wait, why have I added it twice? Because it had it twice. I don't want it twice, so I'll just get rid of one of them. Oh, I could use this to put Tikus in here as well. And I could have them both. Maybe I should do that. No, I don't want to be figuring out the relative positions right now. But I, sh I should do that in general. <laughs> but I have like four minutes. So for now, they can be separate, I guess. You just want two figures that come here, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's get rid of one of these. We have to get rid of. Down here, right? All this. Yes, and get rid of that, comma. Relative position is fine. There is a rotation, 170. Yeah, Milo's like, yeah, I did have rotation. I am smart. There you go. Yeah, of course you did it. You're no fucking fool. Of course you get rotation. Beagle's just got to use the fucking config, right? And I got to name this. So this has to be named... BM... Yeah, so this is going to be JH. And that is exactly what we're going to name this. BM Zen Ludlow Frigate JH. That's where it goes, right? So we name it. Milo says, wrote this like a month ago. I forgot how it works. Yeah, I, I spec'd this like two months ago and I forgot how it works. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. I'm the one who was going like, Solar Archers, Solar Families, Solars. <laughs> and now I'm like, what the fuck? It's like the thing you're always saying about like, what if, what if like six months from now, Beagle, you forget how this works? No, I won't. No, I won't, I say. Yeah, we, we figured it out. We got there. It's like a, it's like a, like a slight dub for me. Not really. <laughs> right now. In that argument. Anyway. We need the scope. So... That goes there. I'm hoping that's where that goes because it looks like in the example that's where it goes is that's what we're naming the solar arch formation. So that's done. Relative position, yes. Rotation, yes. Calls the solar arch down here. Which should be the exact same thing. Yes. FTX group. So as long as this is all entered right, this should work. Yeah, exactly. For someone. Exactly. Save. Let's see if this works. So I'm going to comment out the one in LIO3. If it was, yeah, Jason doesn't have comments, yeah. Can I, like... It, just before I try this, Milo, just a quick question. Like, this NPC section, if I currently have no NPC spawning of it, can I, like, get rid of this bit? Do I just put it at zero? Like, is this correct? And then, yeah, because then we've got a solar family, which is calling... The... Leave it zero for now? Yep. Yeah, figured. Zen Ludlow Frigate spawns, which I've named here, which is calling Zen Ludlow Frigate JH. JH. Spawn weight is one. Unless I missed a comma somewhere, this should work, I think. Great chance that they missed a comma somewhere, but, um... I'm gonna try this once. If it doesn't work, I'm literally at the end of my stream, so I don't have time to figure it out. <laughs> I don't have time. So, you know... Just pray for it to just go in one, because that's always how development works. It always just works in one. Always. You can split up assistant group of NPCs if you wanted to. Yeah, that's cool. I like I like that as an option. Like I could do something. I know the AI isn't like super like great right now. It's the one thing I'd like to fix. Is even if they just work like the basic AI of just like wander an area, like it'd be more or like go stay in area. But like we can worry about that later. But even for right now, I was gonna say I could put like some indies around. Uh, the Ludlow at server start or something, and that could be interesting. You can even have them there, like, docking, like, little logistics ships. That could be fun. Um, okay, so... Let me just check something, and then we're gonna try this, and then I'm done with the stream, because, uh, it is, it is stream overtime. Data... 
lot of assets. EXE. No config folders. This won't overwrite anything. Okay, let's run the build. Let's see if this works. Hello, my good boy, Kuma. My baby is up. My hot baby. My wife is up, and I know she is jonesing for her next, her next fix of two vampire boyfriends roleplay. I know, I know, and I, I need a chicken Kiev in my gut, so I got a lot of things to do. All right, we're loading this. I was saying before you got on just now, Milo, looking at the um stuff that FLHook 4.0 already has that um, I'm not adding it right now because like you know scope creep and stuff but uh, I did mean to mention you sometime there's like cool, some cool stuff in there we don't currently use which could, be, which could be cool to use like I fucking love the system scanner one where like certain people can be like configured up to basically when when a player when someone uses like a jump gate or a a, a, a lane it like Gives, gives you a notification and like shows you their equipment and cargo at the time they use the lane. That's so fucking cool because it's like the lore of like a Jira, they do that. They like actually have the lane ID system. It's so fucking cool for gameplay to be like a, a police or a navy or a pirate somehow having that tech. And like being able to use that to like do um, blockading contraband or cargo, cargo hustling like the lane hackers do. That's so fucking cool. I love that. It's fucking awesome. I was just saying this in the chat before, like, damn, that's so cool. Like, I want to actually add that. That's fucking awesome. Okay, um, let's test this shit. It's time. I mean, when we're gonna rewrite 5.0, it's a nightmare internally. Yeah, <laughs> okay, shit. Yeah. But it's a fucking cool idea, man. It's a fucking, it's a fucking cool plugin. It's fucking awesome. Oh, Milo, I wanted to add this, ask you this too before I, because I got to end the stream after I test this. What's with the fucking co-pilots in the mod now? Fucking cool, but what's with them? I was, did you guys like add this as a surprise to get me or did you not know you added it somehow? Like, I, I was, I was killing NPCs in multiplayer. Yeah, yeah. You kill NPCs in multiplayer and I kill one and there's like a, a woman's voice going like, oh, got one. And then, like, my hole got fucked up, and it's, like, hole, hole buckling, basically. I was like, what? We can do this? Like, I want to do that. I didn't know we could. You didn't add that intentionally? Is it part of the MP rep thing that got added, updated? It's so fucking cool, man. It's like I have a co-pilot in the back being, like, good kill and shit. Nope. Yeah, it, it's real. I thought I was gaslighting myself at first. It's fucking real. It might be. Yeah, is that a thing MP rep can do? Because it's fucking awesome. Uh-oh, solo DLL, unable to pr process JSON, it could not be parsed. No, I don't have time to finish this, but I feel like I was so close. I feel like I was so close. Bad for me, put in JSON for a minute, hang on. Yeah, it, it got rid of all my shit in solar. Dot JSON. Maybe it's all the other shit? I don't know. JSON formatter site. Control Z should do it. Oh, I, I got it back. I, I, I backed it up first because I'm, I'm big brain like that. Hang on. Um, parse error on line 94. Expected string got dot. Line 94, what did I do wrong? Line 94 is just a, a, a curly brace with a comma after it. Oh fuck, there's two of them. <laughs> oh fuck, there's two of them. <laughs> Bounty, that's a really fucking cool site, by the way. <laughs> that's a really fucking cool website, thank you. Let's try that again. That's a really good website. What the fuck? I like that. What a good fucking website! Hey, it's loading now! That saved me a lot of time, you're a genius! Hey! Bounty's big brain as always. That's a good website, I'm bookmarking that. Okay, I'm running over time now, so let's get this done. Let's test this. Let's go to Tikas.
Oh lord. As you can see, Milo, the angler is in. You can actually see that, like, it's... Because of the shield hitbox problem, it's actually got, like, a bigger crosshair around it than normal, too. Okay, move. What is that? 6,000. 60,000. Oh. Oh, that's wrong. Sorry. Move 6,000. Oh, 60,000. Wrong way. Move. 6,000, oh, 6,000. Wireframe seems to be not quite right. Yeah, it's weird, um, Milo. Also, like, sometimes they have a wireframe, sometimes they don't. Also, when I was doing their loadouts, I didn't change the, like, the placeholder gun, debug gun thing from CV to JU. I don't know if I'm allowed to. Like, I don't know how that works, you know? I meant to ask you about that. Like, the, the NPC loadouts doesn't have your debug tracking thing set up correctly on the NPCs, and I need to work out, like, if I can just write that in or if, like, I have to make a new equipment for it. Ooh. Um, info card, not happy. <laughs> Look at it go! Oh, is that because I put in the I the description? Not the name? Yeah, it's like doing the description. Hey, it's there though! Fuck yeah, it's rotated, it's there! Got it in one, I think, except for the ID being wrong. Look at that. Look how fucked up that is. Look at that text gore. <laughs> oh god. So I just gotta get the the names in properly, I guess. But I mean, fuck yeah, that looks like looks like it's fucking working. Terrific. Can you do that on purpose for flash traffic traffic server events? What do you mean? I'll do Tikus later. I have to stop work now, but but yeah. Hang on. Um. Come here, fucker. Let me see if it does it, Milo. Hang on. Just listen, Milo. You gotta just listen, okay? Because I gotta end the stream after this. But just listen to this shit. I'm not crazy. I can't find the time code otherwise. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Fuck, oh, she didn't do it that time. She didn't do it that time! I had some server event and beep 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 new messages start tracking across the screen. <laughs> I don't think we could use it like that, but I like what you're thinking, yeah. Probably like a, there'd be a different way you'd try to do that, if possible, but <laughs> I like that idea, yeah. <laughs> angler, yeah, let's fight this thing. Here we go. Hello, rookie angler. Yeah, it's weird how the wireframe only works sometimes. It's, it's really odd. I had to figure out what's going on there. Whoa! Hitbox problems. Perish to my pl cheated plus gear. Whoop, oh, wrong button. Oh, got your ass. Fuck, I don't know. I'm just going to like look up the time code now. <laughs> now to just like go back and find the time code, which is a huge fucking pain in the butt of like when, when the voice lines are playing. How annoying. Well, guys, that is basically the stream for today. I hope you enjoyed the BMOD dev stream. I got some shit done, which was nice. Uh, now I like the passing of the torch. Now I can hand it over to Milo, who's woken up as well. You have one more thing to do? What's that? What's that, Jamblam? As punishment for being late? I am 10 minutes late. 10 minutes late. Show a little Luna touch. Uh, okay, okay, let me see if I can, like, send that to myself without plugging my phone in. Hopefully I can. The video is so cute, yes, hang on, I took such a cute video of our kitten today. It's so cute, or last night, whatever. So fucking cute. Let me see if I can just Discord this to myself. Everywhere I'm gonna, like, plug it in, it's all, like, a whole thing. Okay, share... How big could a phone video be? People send these over the, like, the, the network, right? How big could it be? Couldn't be that big. 
Oh my god, why is Google Maps coming up? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the hell is that? Fix. Fixy. Seriously, why is Maps coming up? What the fuck? That's weird. I don't like that. Okay, Discord. Here we go. We're getting somewhere now. Oh, someone's pinged me in BMOD main. I didn't see that yet. Whoopsie. I'm gonna send it to you, Jam, and we're gonna see if it uploads in, in good order. It's a phone video. It can't be that big. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, Jam, you meow, meow, meowed me. <laughs> Don't worry, Jam. I'm finishing now. Waiting for the vid to load. It's coming! The people will see the kit. Hopefully. I'll give it a minute. If it hasn't loaded in a minute, I'm gonna start suspecting it. Oh, there we go! I think that might be working. Let me see. Oh, this is MP. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta get out of this first. I will track down the time code because I'm stubborn, Milo, for the voice thing, and I will show it to you, and I'll be like, look at this! And I will figure out what's doing it, and then I'll be like, we need to co-opt it, because it's actually so cool. I love having the, like, co-pilot or slash AWOC style voice, like, commenting what I'm doing. It's actually awesome. Uh, Beam plus Denver. After a great day of morning, it's time to go back to my phallic tower apartment home on planet Denver in, in the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> what a great day. Alright, now let me do this shit. Happy Pride- HAPPY PRIDE! <laughs> That's right! Open... Copy message link, let's see. Denver. <laughs> Denver! All right, hang on. Just look briefly at our beautiful, our beautiful cat. Look at this, look at this kitty and what she does. <laughs> She's so cute. Turn off, turn off that sound in the background. She do a stretch. She liked to touch. You can barely see her because it's dark and she's a black cat. <laughs> so I'm like shoving the camera in her face. And there's Nyx. <laughs> but she's so cute! So there you go. You've now seen our Luna cat. Good house void. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. That's the stream. GG to y'all. Quitting out of this. I'll be back tomorrow for XCOM Kitchen is the plan as always, folks. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for Milo coming at the last second there and helping me get through that config too. Uh, thanks everyone for being here. I enjoy doing these dev streams of you. They are always such fun. Um, yeah, we got some shit done today, which I wanted to get done for like days now, so it's good. For those of you who do play VMOD, um, sorry that it's taken us a little bit to get another like release out to fix some stuff. Um, I haven't had much time to work on things in the past 9 or 10 days. So um, it's good to get a bunch done today. And to those who are interested in playing it, hey, you can try the mod out down below. Click the BMOD banner or type an exclamation mark BMOD in my chat. Get your links. Go to the Discord. Be like, hey, I want to play. We'll get you in. Uh, we are always taking more playtesters. We love to have love to have you. Love to see it. Credits. And uh, Twitch. Thank you, Mog Dash, for the 99-month sub. Regalis, 15-month sub. Euchre, rated the party at two. Noobs, or 76 months in a row. General Spoon, thanks for the five gift subs to Iron Plate. A Lumber Cat, Rudus, Cats and Kebab, and a Paslan Kilkuri. And Crunkhammer, thanks for the 10 month sub. Appreciate it very much. Tomorrow is XCOM Kitchen, and the day after. S probably leaving August and getting into September with Sectoid Commanders again, which will be interesting. Last time in the uh, we were doing a campaign of this length, um, we were not doing very well. We're doing much better this time, but a base defense could be coming in the next couple of months. So we've got to keep getting ready, keep doing well. I gotta raid someone too, let's raid someone. But yeah, see you at Kitchen tomorrow, hopefully, everyone. I look forward to it. Thanks for being here with me today. We're gonna raid... 
Um, it's been a while since we raided Nemi. Let's do Nemi. Okay, everyone. I'm out of here right away. Thank you so much, everyone. I will catch you all tomorrow for Kitchen. And maybe next weekend for more B-Mod. Bye, everyone. Have a wonderful one. And see you next time. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.